everybody welcome back to my channel this is your girl Rose from a taste of the rose and just very quickly I want to I'm gonna teach you guys really fast this is gonna be a really fast recipe um, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a recipe on how to make Mexican rice so I'm gonna prepare some Mexican rice because you know Mexican rice goes bomb with everything y acompáñenme para ver cómo se prepara esta deliciosa receta. Y los ingredientes para esta receta son muy básicos. Aquí tenemos aceite para freír nuestro arroz. Tenemos nor, tenemos comino en polvo, tenemos salsa de tomate, ajo. I hardly don't ever measure shit, but rice I do measure. Aquí voy a hacer una taza de arroz, pimienta al gusto y tomate y cebolla picada. Aquí ya tenemos nuestro aceite bien caliente para nuestro arroz. Esta va a ser una taza de arroz. Se la vamos a echar ahí. Y mire, y se pone... Not this one, we want to turn it down. We're just going to brown the rice. Y aquí le vamos a echar poquito ajo. de minced garlic. Not that much. Okay. And we're going to brown our rice. Hasta que quede bien doradito. Ven como ya está cambiando de color. So at this point, cuando ya se nos empieza a dorar así uh, un poquito. This is optional. I really like doing this. You don't have to. I like to uh, throw in some uh, diced onions and tomates. Para que agarren muy buen sabor y nuestro tomate y nuestra cebolla y vamos a continuar a dorar hasta que nuestro arroz esté like a golden brown stirring frequently para que no se nos pegue alright, so aquí ya nos, ya nos quedó bien doradito nuestro arroz and we're going to go ahead and add two cups of water so for what I like to do is for every cup I add le doble for every cup of rice, le dobleteo. I double it. I double the water. So if I put one cup, I'm going to use two cups of water. If I put one and a half cups of rice, I'm going to use three cups of water. So on and so forth. Okay. So aquí le vamos a agregar nuestra salsa de tomate. Le vamos a agregar nuestro nor. I'm going to add about one, maybe two, uh, about two. And a half. Y la vamos a ir, lo vamos a ir probando, you know, to see a ver, a ver qué le hace falta, whatever. Comino, gran comino. This is, this is what, in my opinion, gives it the best flavor. Some people don't like comino. It is a strong spice, so. Ahí le van tanteando. Aquí es donde lo prueban. Prueban su consomé para ver qué le hace falta, ¿ok? So good. No les falta nada. Aquí le vamos a echar poquita pimienta. Todo esto es al gusto. Ustedes le van tanteando, le van probando a ver qué le hace falta, qué le sobra. Hopefully que no le sobre nada, because then that's not a good thing. Mejor que le falta que le sobre, because then you could continue to um, adjust your recipe. So aquí, esto lo vamos a subir up to like high, medium high. And we're going to cover this. And we're going to let this boil. Now, this is really, really important, guys. We're going to cover this. We're only going to mix this one time. No more. Cover it. Let it boil for about three to five minutes. This has now been boiling for about, about four and a half minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover it, and we're going to put the temperature down all the way to about a three and don't touch it let it sit there for about a good 10 to 15 minutes you can even go lower let's put it down to a two and let it just sit there after like 10 minutes we're gonna le vamos a menear one time and then we're gonna let it sit there again until it's finished cooking so this is key here okay it's at this point where we're gonna do our one meneada que le vamos a hacer aquí este rollo so what we're going to do is we're just going to give it one good mix. 
y lo vamos a acomodar para atrás so it can cook evenly like so we're gonna cover this and then we're gonna let it just simmer just cover it ya no lo abran ya no lo toquen ya no hagan nada let it simmer until all of the water is completely absorbed and you will know because your rice will look nice and fluffy así se va, se va a abrir I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, but for now, leave this alone. Moment of truth. I'm just now, oh, that smells so amazing, guys. I'm just now turning off my rice. Quiero que miren cómo quedó este arrocito. Look at, ya ven cómo se abrió todo el arroz. This is what your rice should look like. Okay, so. Aquí quedó nuestro arrocito. Look at this. Take a minute to just enjoy the view. Miren cómo se abrió. Se nos abrió el arrocito. This is perfect. This is what you, if your rice ain't looking like this, then you ain't doing something right. Let me tell you. Now, for the moment of truth, let's do a little taste test. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. So, so, so good, guys. Go make yourself your rice. Do it just like I did. The key, the key, es que no le tienen que menear mucho y tienen que mantener su sartén bien cerrado para que se cueza casi casi a vapor. That's the key to making this rice so good. That is all for tonight, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this little mini journey. I told you guys this is gonna be a little fast video because people have been requesting uh, the recipe to how I make my rice. This, again, is how I make my rice. Everybody does different variations, but this is how I make it. I uh, encourage you guys to try it, make it, let me know what you think. Uh, and like always, if you haven't already done so, please like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you can get notified every single time that I upload a new video. And like always, I will catch you all on the flip side.